Before time and fate divided the elven people into distinct tribes, they coexisted peacefully. Their unity was a beacon of peace in the ancient world, a testament to the wisdom, grace, and strength of their kind. But as often happens in tales of unity, there was a hidden fault line, a strain of darkness lurking in the shadows. Among them, a group of elves grew restless, stirring with mischief and tainted by an inexplicable wickedness. These elves were like a brewing tempest, ready to unleash its wrath. Whispers in the village spoke of strange sightings, shadows flitting through the trees, eerie sounds echoing in the night. At first, these rumors were dismissed. The elven council was slow to recognize the extent of the mischief, but when minor pranks escalated into acts of havoc, they could no longer turn a blind eye. Fires blazed mysteriously in the stillness of night, sacred items vanished, and crops withered under an unnatural blight. These once innocent elves had spiraled into chaos, spreading mayhem throughout the community. The council convened, and wise elders gathered to address the rising darkness. After much debate, they decreed that these troublesome elves must be exiled for the sake of peace. Bound together by magic and blood, the elven people struggled with the decision. Yet the elders sensed something darker at play, a shadow that had enveloped these elves. Some believed they were under the curse of a malevolent force that had twisted their hearts and minds. The truth remained elusive, but one certainty persisted. They had to be cast out to protect the harmony of their kin. Thus, the Midnight Outcasts were born. Banished and left to wander, these rogue elves carried an aura of mystery and dread. They became known as the Midnight Elves, or, as some whispered in fear, the Evil Ones. Shunned from the unity of their people, they found solace in the night, and over time, their actions grew darker. Devoid of the warmth and light of their kin, they embraced shadows as their refuge, honing their mischief into an art of terror. During these shadowed wanderings, they encountered another force in the night, a dark, mist-like presence that seemed to know their intent. These were the Shadow Ogres, creatures who had once been bound by flesh, but had sacrificed their bodies to become figures of pure shadow. Feeding on fear, they slipped in and out of walls, leaving trails of terror wherever they passed. Drawn to the same dark energies, the Midnight Elves and Shadow Ogres shared a common goal and a common enemy, though no loyalty bound them together. The Shadow Ogres, recognizing potential in the Midnight Elves, chose to teach them their craft, revealing the art of haunting dreams. It was the Shadow Ogres who first showed the elves how to slip into the minds of slumbering children, weaving nightmares from the threads of innocent dreams. With this newfound knowledge, the Midnight Elves transformed into true creatures of dread, wielding the power to invade dreams, twisting joy into fear and peace into terror. Despite these shared secrets, the Midnight Elves and Shadow Ogres were never allies. They were like hunters who acknowledged each other's talents, but refrained from true companionship. A lack of trust served as the driving force behind their collaboration. Together but separate, they swept through the human realm, stirring fear in the hearts of children and darkening the night with their presence. They moved through the world of sleep, shifting the balance between safety and dread. Children trembled in their beds as elves and ogres could hear their whispered fears floating through the air like tendrils of smoke. Yet, for all their newfound power, a presence lingered in the night that neither elves nor ogres could ignore. It was a figure cloaked in mystery, one whom they both dreaded yet could not evade, the Boogeyman. A protector of children, the Boogeyman sensed their intrusion into the dream realm, standing as a silent guardian against their mischief. The Midnight Elves and Shadow Ogres had learned well how to haunt dreams, but even they recognized that when the Boogeyman drew near, their power was limited. In his presence, the Midnight Elves were reminded of the fear they themselves harbored, a fear of facing the one being they could never outmaneuver. And so, they would vanish, leaving behind only whispers and shadows. Even the Shadow Ogres, beings of pure dread, found themselves powerless against the Boogeyman's quiet strength. Together, they haunted the night, each playing a role in the world of dreams, but united by the knowledge that a protector watched over those they wanted to frighten. And so the Midnight Elves continued their nightly escapades, their wicked laughter fading into the darkness, leaving behind only echoes of terror. They remained creatures of mischief, condemned to roam the night eternally, forever shunning the light. 
For as long as there were dreams to disturb and shadows to inhabit, the Midnight Elves would persist in their wandering, ever chased but never captured. This concludes the story of the Midnight Elves and their twisted allies, the Shadow Ogres. If you enjoyed this tale and want to hear more of these dark legends, please like, subscribe, and join us for more enchanted stories. Thank you for watching.